Hello, welcome to my channel Rereads and today I have a book review. I don't just have one book review, I have two book reviews and they're by the same author. This is more of a book talk. Um, this author I read as a kid and he is a qu quite well known author and um, I recently went to the library and picked two of his books up and I'm going to be reviewing Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl. I love this book. This was a reread for me. Um, the, I first read this book as a kid and I absolutely love the concept of winning a golden ticket and going around a chocolate factory and trying out weird and wonderful different chocolates. I love this book. This book is my all-time favourite Roald Dahl books along, alongside Matilda. You meet this is meet Charlie. He is, he comes from a family. He has um, grandparents, and he has he has and his he lives with his grandparents and his parents in a small little house. And they don't really have that much money to go out and buy lots and lots of chocolate. Um, they only buy chocolate for birthdays and special occasions. And um, basically, one day, um, Charlie. Charlie goes out and buys himself a chocolate bar at a shop and he finds himself a golden ticket along with other children who are quite spoilt and quite, let's say, selfish and their parents don't really say no to them that often. So Charlie goes around with his grandpa Joe who is absolutely brilliant. I like the fact that his grandparents are the most awesome grandparents in the history of book literature. Uh, he goes around... Um, with his uncle Joe and he meets Willy Wonka who's this person up here and um they go around the um ch chocolate factory and they meet these little oompa loompas I love it I love how they sing songs as well and um it um during the course of going around the chocolate factory each child meet each child un unfortunately m ends up in a st sticky situation and yeah, a sticky situation. My favourite part of this book is, I think it's Violet, is when Violet ends up as a um, blueberry. That is my favourite part of this book. And um, when Mike TV shrinks. I love that. I love that part. Um, what? Why do I love Charlie and the Chocolate Factory so much? Like I said, the concept of going around a chocolate factory and trying out new sweets. Um, Charlie is the hero of this book. I love it. And... Um, I loved it so much that I gave it 5 out of 5 on Goodreads and I've got a written blog. I'd just like to um, point out that the illustrations for these these books are absolutely gorgeous. Um, they're like this. I, I love picture books and Quentin Blake's illustrations are just, just so awesome. Quentin Blake is one of my favourite all time um, book illustrators. His drawings just encapsulate what Roald Dahl is trying to say as um, Willy, um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, um, Willy Wonka doing his stuff. I just, I just love Roald Dahl's writing, and I, um, I, I, re yeah, I really love Roald Dahl's writing. There's not so much you can say. Um, with these new edition books, you get little, um, you get like stuff about Roald Dahl's life. Like there's his um, writing heart. I like that. I like. I like how kids can find out more about Roald Dahl and um, everything and a little bit about Quentin Blake as well. I like the fact that you can do that and they've also got the website which I'll link down below as well but there's Roald Dahl. <laughs> um, Roald, Roald Dahl for me is just a fantastic writer. Um, I now want to go on and talk about a book that I didn't read as a kid and I sh probably should have is another one of Roald Dahl's books and it's called The Witches by Roald Dahl. I, this is the first time reading this and as an adult I thought it was super super scary. Basically it's about a boy um, unnamed and his grandma and um, his grandma is telling him about witches and how not very nice they are to children. They hate all children, they all smell like, like um, they, they're all smelly and stuff like that and um, so they take a trip, they go on holiday to Bournemouth, which is where, near where I live. Um, they go to a trip to Bournemouth and they meet the um, Witches of England and the Grand High Witch. 
And the illustration for the Grand High Witch is just so scary. There's a bit in this book where the witches disguise themselves and they just, they, you know, they have these face masks and they just peel them off. And that was like, reading that was just then shivers down my spine. It was just, oh, it's just so scary to read. Um, I liked Roald Dahl's take on witches, actually. I just wanted to find you the, um, I just wanted to find you the, um, the picture of the Grand High Witch. There's the Grand High Witch, Grand High, Grand High Witch as a person. Look, look, she doesn't look very nice, does she? At all. I love, I love these illustrations. I just can't tell you how good, good these, well, how well written these books are. If you have children or you're an adult, you'll love them. That, that, that's, that's what the Grand High Witch <laughs> looks like with her face mask not off. That is the most scariest thing I've seen <laughs> in a book. Um, this is scary. Basically, everybody gets, um, they get. They want to turn all the children of England into mice. And yeah, like I said, I like Roald Dahl's take on witches. I've never read anything like that about them. Um, they're not typical witches. They don't have black hats and ride on broomsticks because like the grandma says, not all witches uh, wear black hats, have wear black hats, capes and fly on broomsticks. They are normal like you and me and they could disguise themselves and rip off their face faces, you know be like us and disguise themselves and they want to turn all the children of England into mice. Squeak squeak. Yes, like I said, this is a video about my favourite author, Roald Dahl. They, they, those were my reviews. I recommend these two to anybody who just wants to get into Roald Dahl, who wants to sit down and take the time to read them to their kids. I recommend Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I recommend this to kids like 12 plus because it's really scary for young kids. But any Roald Dahl book to get your kids into reading. Or if you're an adult and you're scared of reading big fat books like Game of Thrones and you just want small, quick read to get yourself into that reading, that reading, reading, um, get you into that reading mode. Or if you're interested in a reading slump, I would recommend Roald Dahl to get you out of that reading slump. I love Roald Dahl books. I can't wait to reread re -read Matilda again, reread the BFG that's coming out into a film. I love the fact that Roald Dahl books are still here with us today, even after he is no longer with us, which is sad because the ending for The Witches, this en the ending for The Witches, I felt, left scope for another book. And, which is, I'm not particularly fond of this book because it didn't really, the ending didn't really feel like the end, if you know what I mean. It felt like he could have written another sequel to The Witches and I, I just, I have so much love for Roald Dahl because if it wasn't for Roald Dahl or Jacqueline Wilson or um, the author of The Worst Witch, Jill Murphy, if it wasn't for any of those authors I wouldn't be sitting here doing booktube today. I love them and I hope you enjoy my reviews. Um, I gave this 4 out of 4, 4 out of 5 on Goodreads. And I gave China and Chocolate 5 out of 5 on Goodreads because they're so amazing. You can see what I wrote about them on my written blog down below. As um, always, you can like, comment and subscribe. This video is already 8 minutes long and I'm sorry for that. Um, please, please, please do follow my blog. I am on Goodreads. I'm on Instagram, Pimo23, if you want to see my... Um, book hauls or my Friday reads and um, I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye bye.